All right, subscribers, what I'm going to show you today is another example problem of our enthalpy of reaction. And now remember, the key to enthalpy of reaction is products minus reactants. So I'm going to show you how to do problem number five. Okay. And so what we'll start out with is our values here for our products. Now, remember, what we're trying to find here is the enthalpy of the reaction. So it's going to look like delta H of Rxn. And Rxn just stands for reaction. And we start this out here with brackets and a parenthesis. And then we ask ourselves, okay, well, we have to start with the products to find our delta H of our reactants. And so what we do here is we look at our product. And the first substance here is CO2 or carbon dioxide. And so in front of that is our coefficient or our number of moles. So we have six moles of CO2. Now, what we have to multiply CO2 by is that delta H of formation value, which is found in our handy dandy packet here. And I will also provide you additional delta H values here in the future. Now, for this chart here, it said thermodynamic quantities at 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius. And the first thing that we have is CO2. So we find CO2 on our chart and CO2 as a gas under the delta H value. Okay, notice there's three different columns, but under the delta H value is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. So I'm going to write that down. Negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Now, we close the parenthesis. There's an additional product. So I add, just like I see here in my equation, and I have six moles of liquid H2O. Now, we need to be very careful with H2O because it is liquid, and I'm going to note that here. So we need liquid H2O. So we scroll through our chart, and we'll have to turn a few pages here, but we scroll through our chart until we get to H2O as a liquid. And it is located down here, and H2O is a liquid. Remember, the first chart is what we want, or the first column, delta H, but that value there is negative 285.83. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by negative 285. 0.83 kilojoules per mole. Now we close the parenthesis and we close our bracket. Now remember key to thermodynamics is thinking about products minus reactants. So we're going to take all of this up above and we're going to put it in our calculator and we're going to subtract it from our reactants. And I'm going to label this as the start of this bracket being our reactants. So what we do, we start out here with the number of moles, in this case of our sugar, our C6H12O6. We don't have a number, so that means we have one mole of C6H12O6. And we multiply it by the value that we see on that particular chart. So again, we flip through our chart. We go to C6H12O6, that is a, a solid. And so we find that as a solid, that is negative 1,273.02 kilojoules per mole. So negative 1,273.02 kilojoules per mole. Now, again, there's an additional reactant. So we have plus the number of moles of O2, so six moles of O2. We look up O2 as a gas on our handy dandy chart. And 
we find this. Under that delta H column for O2 as a gas, works out nice for us, it's zero kilojoules per mole. So again, zero kilojoules per mole. We then close the parenthesis and close that brackets to indicate that we have reached our end of our reactants. Now comes the tricky part of putting it into our calculator. Remember, most scientific calculators don't have brackets, so we're gonna start off here with a double set of parentheses. So a parenthesis to represent the bracket and a parenthesis to represent that actual first parenthesis. Then we're gonna type it in just as we see it. So six times negative 393.5 parenthesis plus parenthesis six times negative two 285.83 parenthesis and then to close out the bracket we put another parenthesis we subtract all of that business from bracket which we represent by a parenthesis the actual parenthesis one times negative 1273 oops excuse me 273.02 plus parenthesis parenthesis six times zero. We close out the parenthesis and we close out the bracket with a another double set of parentheses. Now, you can go back and you can double check, but we press enter and we get a value of negative 2,802.96 kilojoules. So the delta H of this particular reaction is negative 2,000 802.96.96 kilojoules. The key on these types of problems is making sure we look up the correct value and we put those parentheses and brackets in the correct place. If you do that and you punch it exactly like this in your calculator, everything should work out. Now, you need to copy this problem down and we will work on uh, problems four and six later.